Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and welcome to week two of Championship Predictions. Guys, before I jump into today's video, I want to just give you all the massive shout out. You smashed the views with week one. Also subscribers as well. Achieved over 50 subscribers on this one. So guys, if you do enjoy today's video and you've not already subscribed, please do the exact same as what these guys did in week one and hit that subscribe button. And let's waste no more time. Let's jump into these week two predictions. And we start off with Birmingham taking on Huddersfield Town. And Birmingham started the season pretty well. A nil-nil draw against Luton. Away from home, I'd take that. The same can't be said for Huddersfield Town, who had a really bad start to the season and some real concerns there, to be honest. Uh, lots of rumours coming out that a real lack of fitness and just being unprepared for the season, um, that could really halt a Huddersfield start to the season and probably ongoing as well. Is there going to be ongoing problems at Huddersfield Town this season? It remains to be seen, but after, you know, the bad start to the season, I've got to be honest, I'm going to give it to Birmingham. I'm going to give it a one nil victory to Birmingham City in this one. Um, talking about now, Norwich City probably didn't have the start of the season that they would have envisioned coming up against Wigan Athletic. Um, Norwich, yeah, first game of the season losing to Cardiff. Um, to be fair, though, a lot of people have said that Cardiff were going to start the season well. So could they be a bit of a shock? Let's that remains to be seen. But we're talking about Wigan as well. They got a draw. 20 shots, though. Only five of those on target. Could that be a bit of a problem for Wigan this season? Did they need to add some firepower to their ranks if they're going to, you know, achieve something well in the championship this season? Well, in this fixture, I think Norwich will rectify their loss. Uh, they are at home this game, and I think we will see Norwich think, pick things back up with a 2-0 victory. Coming on to Burnley versus Luton Town now, and as we said, Burnley, bit of a shock um, to some, you know, they've lost a lot of players, but they came with some force on last Friday's fixture, obviously against Huddersfield Town. Wow. I mean, not the kind of football you expect from Burnley, to be fair, but um, that's really brought some promising um, signs for Burnley. And I think there will be a great atmosphere coming up against Luton Town, who started the season with a nil-nil draw. Um I think I'm going to give it to the home team. I do. I think I'm going to give it to Burnley. I think they've looked really promising. Have they been tested going defensively yet? Maybe not. Maybe that's where the holes might... There might be a little bit of a hole in Burnley's armour. But I'm looking, thinking, to be honest, they looked really impressive. So I'm going to give it to Burnley. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory in this fixture. Sheffield United now coming up against what? Uh, Watford, not Watford, they came up against Watford last week, coming up against Millwall. And obviously Sheffield United, they lost um, against Watford. But to be honest, looking at that Watford team, if they keep all that team, I'm not reading into too much of Sheffield United season, to be honest, based on that fixture against Watford. But Millwall... 2-0 victory to start the season. But we do know their home form last season was a lot better than their away form. This is going to be a much tougher fixture, I think, coming away from home. I think it's going to be a draw, you know. I think Millwall started the season quite promising. And I'm going to go for a draw 1-1 one, one in this fixture. Stoke now coming up against Blackpool. Um, yeah, uh, well, Stoke, a lot of their fans thought, you know, very promising season coming. I didn't see much sign of that, I must admit, from their first fixture, obviously starting with a loss. Blackpool getting the win, beating Reading. That will be a big win for them, potentially. You know, a lot of people are unsure what Blackpool were going to do this season, especially after losing out to Critchley, uh, losing Critchley, their manager, who, you know, big things were predicted, really, from Blackpool under him. This is going to be another one of those games that I think is going to be really well contested. I think there's going to be goals in this. And I'm going to back another draw. I'm going to go for a two-all draw in this one. I think we will see some goals. Preston North End now taking on Hull City. Again, another fixture. This is a common thing, isn't it, in the Championship, that I think will be really well contested. Um, Hull looking promising. Of course, I lost Lewis Potter, but I did talk about the fact that that has meant they've had money to bring in other players. And to be fair, both those players were prevalent in the goals for Hull City, um, obviously starting their season off. 
And I think I'm going to go for a similar scoreline to um, obviously what happened last time. I think I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory for Hull City in this fixture. We come on to Bristol City now taking on Sunderland. And obviously Sunderland, uh, they started off their season with a one all draw. They look championship ready, don't they? And Bristol City, ew. The goals kept on being shared. It was only a 2-1 defeat, but I did say that Bristol City, they'll be wanting to put um, better the defensive performance from last season with the amount of goals they conceded. But they're still scoring. We know Bristol City have got goals and Bristol City are at home. Um, I think this is going to be a really hard fixture to predict, to be honest, because I could honestly see it going either way. Um, I think there'll be goals once again. Uh, I'm going to give it the away team. You know what? I'm going to give it the away team. I'm going to give it Sunderland. I'm going to go 2-1 to Sunderland. And what a turnout for them in their return to the championship. 40,000 or over 40,000 attending the Stadium of Light in their first game. Coming on to Swansea now, taking on Blackburn. And Swansea probably be a little bit disappointed with their start to the season. It was a 1-1 draw, but don't let that distract you from the fact that Swansea were the dominant team. 74% possession in that draw to Rotherham. And there will be one to rectify what they probably should have felt would have been, should have been a win against Rotherham with those possession stats. And Blackburn starting the season, obviously 1-0 win against QPR. It was a Solid performance, to be honest. Um, this could be another close fixture. Um, I am going to go with the home team now. I'm going to go with Swansea. I'm going to go a 2-1 victory to Swansea. But I must say, Blackburn, I did worry about them this season. But for one, what I saw of their game against QPR, they could be back up there. They could be back up there and fighting for the playoffs once again. We come on to Reading taking on Cardiff City now. And Reading... It's looking like it could be a really tough season for Reading, to be honest. Um, not starting the season how they probably wanted to. And I did I did say, I did predict these guys to possibly be in a relegation battle. Um, one thing I didn't predict, though, was Cardiff's start to the season. A really positive result there. And I think they're just going to carry that momentum into this game week. They're going to obviously be buzzing after that uh, victory. I don't think many people would have had them down to get the victory. And is there a bit of momentum building with that team? We feel that maybe one or two more signings could come in before the end of the window for Cardiff as well. Maybe they could be on, you know, the unexpected package of the season. But when it comes to this fixture... 3-1 is my prediction in this one. We come on now to QPR taking on Middlesbrough and it looks like QPR's goal drought is set to continue into this season. We saw how bad they finished off the end of last season. Too many goals being conceded and more importantly, not enough being scored. I, I just didn't see enough from their last fixture to think that that's going to change much. Um, Middlesbrough, now, Middlesbrough are an interesting one because I've really picked them to go up this season. But the loss of Tavernier could be a big one. But I don't think this is going to cause them too many problems in this weekend. I think Middlesbrough um, are probably going to be one of the better teams in the championship this season. Uh, QPR, I just worry about them goal-wise. Are they going to get enough goals to get where they want to this season? I don't think they will worry for relegation or anything like that. But are they just going to be a bit of a mid-table team? I'm starting to see that. Of course, it is only week two. So, you know, can't read too much into it. But I just worry the form from last season is going to carry into this one. And for that reason, 2-0 to Middlesbrough. Now, starting off with Coventry City, who of course, had the 1-1 draw with Sunderland. And Rotherham themselves also starting off with a 1-1 draw. Um, as I said in when talking about Swansea, Rotherham didn't have much possession in that game. But that doesn't matter because they got the resort for them. They went and got a draw, which was a very good resort against Swansea. But they now go away from home against the Coventry team. But I thought looked really good against Sunderland. That was a really well contested game. And of course, what a goal from Gorkarez. I believe that's how it's pronounced, but what a hell of a goal. I, I, I did say he's one of those players I feel could make the step into the Premier League, but Coventry City fans, they'll be happy to keep hold of him. Um, but I do think he's a player that sooner rather than later will be set for the Premier League and maybe could do that with Coventry City. They, uh, they could have a pretty decent season. But this fixture... 
Coventry being the home team, I'm going to give it to Coventry and I think it will be a 2-0 victory in this one. We come on to our, I think this is our final fixture. I think it is, yeah. West Brom taking on Watford. <sighs> Watford just looks so strong, don't they? That team looks ridiculous at the moment with Dennis, Saar. Um, yeah, it just looks an incredible team for the, um, you know, the championship. And to be honest, if they keep on all them stars, oh, might have to call the police because they are just going to be handing out beatings every week, to be honest, uh, just assaulting teams left, right and centre. Could they set some records in the championship? I think so, if they manage to keep on hold of everyone. And not many rumours have been made about Dennis and Saar leaving, a little bit of links to Newcastle, but nothing too prominent. West Brom, they'll obviously be um, looking to compete well against Watford. I think this will be a very close contested game. Um, could go either way, especially with West Brom being at home. But at the moment, I just honestly think Watford are just too strong, to be honest. So I am going to give it to Watford. And my last prediction is going to be a 2-1 away win for Watford. So guys, those are my championship predictions for week two. Let me know your thoughts. Also drop your predictions as well. Even if it's just the team you're, you support, let me know your predictions. Let me know where I went right. Maybe also let me know if where I went wrong. But more importantly, do hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, I'm going to be doing these every week. So hopefully I'll see you next week. Take care and goodbye.